It's six o'clock in the morning. We got some good snow overnight, apparently. And it looks like Apple doesn't know what to do. Apple, go out. Apple, come on, let's go out. Go out. Come on, it's okay. Good girl. Go ahead, go out. Go out, Apple. Go ahead, go out. Hurry up. This is unusual. Cavaliers, I've found, in general, love snow, and they love to go romping through it. They make their own little pathways. Um, Apple does not seem to like it. I think because for her first snowfall, this is pretty large. So she has not done her usual peeing in the morning, which she generally does right away. So I'm going to try to keep her out here. Apple, go hurry up. I use the phrase hurry up. That's something that we do with our dogs from the time that they're puppies. Um, I guess it started when I had to be out here with young puppies in this kind of weather and I just wanted them to pee and I would say hurry up. But we do that because they learn to associate the act of urinating with the phrase hurry up. Apple, hurry up. Well, she's eating the snow. Come on, hurry up. Seems to like the taste of it. How's that taste, Apple, huh? Good? Well, I can see this is going to be a chore today. But uh, I think she'll come around to doing what she has to do outside when the other dogs go out. Well, Apple uh, is an unusual cavalier because she did not like the snow. And when we let her out early this morning, she would not do her peeing outside. Came inside, she peed on the floor, proving that a six-month-old puppy, as advanced as she may be, is still a puppy and still needs training. So, I put her in the crate, and she's had a, an hour or two to nap in the crate. And even six-month-old puppies, if they've been napping for a while, when they wake up, they do need to go to the bathroom. So I'm going to take her out of the crate now and bring her outside and see if we can get her to do something. Apple. Let's go out, Apple. So I shoveled a nice path for her so she wouldn't have to go through the deep snow, even though dogs generally like to go through the deep snow. We're going to give her a minute or two to uh, see if she can go. And if she doesn't, I'll put her back in the crate for another nap. And it's just kind of like going back to the basics of crate training if she hasn't adapted to the situation. Here comes Grandma Boo. Maybe she'll show the way. Okay, Boo and Bootsy have gone off into the snow, which is what Cavaliers generally like to do. Come on, Apple. Come on, good girl, come on. Well, she's got the idea now of what to do in the snow. Oh, and having a good time, I guess. And Bootsy's going. Come on, Apple, hurry up. There she goes, what a good girl. And she has to be rewarded for that. I don't have any treats, but Apple, Apple, good girl. What a good pup. Good girl. And now she doesn't have to go back into the crate. So if you do have a puppy, and that puppy is getting older, generally around six months is when we give our puppies lots of freedom, and she has been getting lots of freedom. But you always have to worry about adapting to new situations, like the first snow of their lifetimes. And I'm sure there's plenty of other things. So, I do have some work to do now to get the humans out. But in the meantime, we can enjoy the beauty of a nice, soft snowfall.